Okay, it's kind of like a record player with the, almost like a needle structure, but it's like data that reaches down and touches on. And if, it, if the platters jump, then we pretty much lose everything that we spent all the time putting together. But vibration from the booming bass isn't the only consideration. So Alan adds a little something to protect the delicate system from the heat. This right here is the processor. It's the main brain of the whole computer. This unit's job here is only to keep the processor cool. It heat's the enemy in electronics, and we don't want to play with the heat. This guy is actually really cool. It's uh, designed to sit in the unit just like this. It has a fan that sits over it, and much like a car's radiator system, it keeps the processor cool by getting all the heat and pushing it out the back of the case. This is something that we had to do, especially for this market, because Vegas is 130 on average, and uh, what we've got here is heat. We have to put the satellite dish on that doubles as a toilet seat cover. That guy is uh, going to allow us to watch satellite TV. We'll have satellite TV, satellite internet, high-speed internet, and also satellite radio in the vehicle. Once we get to that point, we'll have everything. <clears throat> That's the snack we needed. Cool. Hard part's done. Go through the roof? Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Jeremy installs the rear console and checks for a perfect fit. James prepares to give the back seat some thump. Right now, we are putting in two 10-inch subwoofers into the center console. Um, they are down firing, which gives you good bass response. So you won't see any of this inside the car. You'll flip it over, you won't even see the subwoofers, which is nice. Unlike the speakers in the door panels, which are angled towards the driver, these sub-speakers don't need to be directed at the passengers. The Lincoln's transformation is almost complete, and Jason hopes that when the dust settles, his new tricked-out ride will be on a par with the kind of motors that will soon take top honours at the all-car showdown. Easier said than done, these are some of the best custom cars money can buy. And as the competition heats up, one question looms large. Who will be crowned the next King of Bling? As the stars at the GM All-Car Showdown show off their custom creations and eagerly await the final awards, the crew back at 702 Motoring in Las Vegas continue work on this makeover turned mascot. Jeremy Kaufman prepares to make his mark. He designed the estate's car new look and will oversee every phase of its aesthetic transformation. From a shiny new set of 28-inch wheels to the plush rear seats. Jeremy's got a keen eye for design. He's a whiz on the blowtorch, but he's not so smart when it comes to picking out his wardrobe. Ooh, that's hot. That hurts. <laughs> that's why you should wear pants when you're welding, because it'll definitely burn anything good stuff. <laughs> A little first aid from Jen, and he's soon back in business. I probably would have came more prepared for welding. <laughs> Taking care of the installers. First aid is crucial in an installation bay. Dr. Jen. Jen wears many hats here part bookkeeper, part personal assistant, part nursemaid, and mum. She's also married to the boss. We 
were married in six months after I met him. He was the keeper. I think I need a new pair of socks now, though. Got in a few spots. I found a sock of Allen's in the stock room. You want it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. I'll, I'll sport this one for the rest of the day. When I was getting the thoughts for it, I sat down and sketched a few different panels. Um, one of my, one of the main things that came to me was the tubing from the beginning. I wanted to do something a little uh, industrial looking. The Hummer is such a big stocky vehicle. I thought it'd be cool to add something to it that A, nobody's seen before and just makes it look uh, beefier. Okay, we started off with the uh, passenger side door panel of the uh, Hummer. I wanted to come up with a concept that kind of incorporated what uh, the factory has done with the armrest and the handle and an upper armrest piece, but we had to give it our own flair. We wanted something original, something different, so we came up with this. This here is just mostly for looks. It's just kind of a new look. I, thought would, you know, I haven't seen it anywhere. I thought it would look good. And it also serves as the first part of the armrest that matches up with this one. I also took the same idea, put another armrest up here. This will be covered in a leather and trimmed out with paint. All these pieces for the window switches, we had to change them because the old factory window switches wouldn't fit in the door panel. So we made our own spot for those window switches. We also, for show, wanted to have a TV in view for when the doors are open and the vehicle's being showed off. So there we placed a 6.8 TV in that panel there. We had to have good mid-base, so we went with the Phoenix Gold 9-inch mid-base driver. And for the mid-range, we went with the 5. Trimmed all the, the pieces out so you can't see any of the screws. And once this door panel is complete, no screws will be visible. Everything is hidden, including the mounting system that mounts this to the door. In order to open the door, getting rid of this door handle that was here from factory, I couldn't incorporate it in here in the same spot. So what we're doing is going in just like when people shave the door handles on the outside of their vehicle, we put electronic solenoids that open the vehicle. We're gonna do that and place a button on the back side of this, serving as the handle to close, open and close the door. You'll also be able to reach there and pop the door open, just like if you had shaved door handles on the outside of your car. Jeremy is an uh, import that we brought down from Utah, where actually I'm from. Uh, he was an excellent installer, and I've known him in a while in the industry, and we finally put two and two together, and we're a great team now. We're ready to take on the world. I really like it down here. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty casual, really relaxed. There's a different type of clientele coming from where I come from. People spend money down here. You know, where I was, you didn't get as many ballers and high-end customers that wanted to throw a lot of money into their cars. That's why it's kind of good to be down here being in this business. It's, it's, it's better for me to be around where people like to do this to their car. Another custom car enthusiast with deep pockets has just rolled in. Looks like work on Jason's Lincoln Continental will have to wait a little longer. This one-off still needs a couple of finishing touches. One look into the back and it's clear this car has some serious base. Just how Don Toppet likes it.